Hello, this is Bill Doggett, an African-American performing arts historian and early sound archivist dedicated to the documentation of the presence of African-American classically trained performers at the dawn of early sound. This is a return to the wonderful soprano Revela Hughes' recording for Black Swan. This is her first recording. Earlier we sampled the flip side of this recording, uh, Thank God for a Garden, which is also wonderful. This is another art song. This is At Dawning by the well-known Los Angeles-based California-identified composer at the dawn of the 20th century, Charles Wakefield Cadman, who was very well known for his four Indian songs, as well as his five operas, all dedicated and on American Indian themes. The recording here is significant even more so on other levels as I contextualize it. Reverly Hughes is a soprano who arrives at the dawn of the Harlem Renaissance, who is exceptional for her voice, but is also inspired by the legacy set before her in, by the great Cicerita Jones, a soprano who, for some unusual reason, never made a sound recording. So Revela Hughes in this recording that we are sampling is likely one of the first African-American classically trained concert singers, opera singers, in the early part of the 20th century to make a recording. That by itself is significant, but there is more to this story. Revely Hughes is also similar to another, her path, her journey, as a classically trained singer, arriving at the dawn of the Harlem Renaissance, but arriving at a time in classical music where there was a color bar, a limiting opportunity for colored singers. This is before the time of Porgy and Bess of 1935. Revely Hughes was well known in the black music circles of New York and was, after her frustration in trying to break into classical music, offered an opportunity on the Broadway stage, very similar to the experience and the journey of Audra McDonald today. That's an extraordinary parallel. Revely Hughes would go on to work with U.B. Blake and Noble Sissel on the important a uh, bright groundbreaking uh, all black cast musical of the early 20s shuffle along and then would go on further to another all black cast musical called Running Wild and finish her Broadway showcase in 1930 with a cotton club sounding uh, labeled um, excuse me titled musical called Hot Rhythm but yet this is Revely Hughes at the dawn of her career and this is also Harry Pace a black entrepreneur in Harlem at the dawn of the Harlem Renaissance in 1920, 21, 22, dedicated to providing an opportunity for the African-American concert singer, the young African-American classically trained musician, as well as the young aspiring composer, William Grant Still, to be his music director. Let's take a listen to this historic recording. 